your backup on a Joomla site. So um, let's first look at what we're going to be using. It's a uh, component or an extension called Akiba Backup. It is formerly known as Joomla Pack. So if you use Joomla Pack in the past, this is going to be fairly simple for you because it's almost exactly the same as um, Joomla Pack. Akiba Backup is the latest version in it. Um, so it does have newer code. It's a little bit better. Um, you can download it at akibabackup.com or joomla.org at the Joomla extension directory. Um, and they do have a free version and a professional version. So there's a little bit more features added to the professional version, and I believe it's fairly cheap. So let's get started. Let's go to the back end of our uh, Joomla site, and we're going to go to Components and then Akiba Backup. And then you'll see this is the control panel for Akiba Backup. And we are going to go to Backup Now. Actually, before we do that, one thing that you want to make sure in your configuration settings is that you have it set up to do zip format. Um, there are There is their own format called GPA. Um, I tend not to use that. I find it's a little bit harder to use. And I think the zip is just a lot easier to install. So I would recommend just doing it in the zip format and then save that. Okay, so then you go to Backup Now, and then it'll tell you that it may not be expected to work. It's okay, it'll work fine. And then you want to click Backup Now. And then you'll see it'll go through the backup and it'll initialize each option. And then it does tell you a server response, so if your server's been stopped or slowing down, it'll tell you uh, whether or not that is happening while you're backing it up. So this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to...